LaMelo Ball won the Rookie of the Year award, and I think Anthony Edwards was robbed. Is that a hot take? Probably. They were kind of back and forth all over, uh, all over Twitter, all over everything. But I guess we can just check in on some stats, starting with, I guess, the season-long stats. So, LaMelo, when you look at the season-long stats, and, you know, he played 51 games, but just, if you look at the season-long stats and disregard everything but points, LaMelo's in the lead. So, LaMelo Ball versus Anthony Edwards this season. LaMelo. 15.7 points, 6.1 assists, 5.9 rebounds, 1.6 steals, 43% shooting, and 35% from three. That was in 51 of 72 games. Edwards, 19.3 points, so about four more than LaMelo. 2.9 assists, 4.7 rebounds, 1.1 steals, 41% shooting, and 32% from three. So LaMelo bet better in every category except games played, where Edwards beat him by about 21 and points, where Edwards beat him by about four. So, for me, I think Edwards is the better player, and was the better player, and was robbed. He's going to be a superstar. Lamelo's going to be a solid point guard. I don't think that's crazy to say. Lamelo was robbed. I think that's clear. Er, oops. Edwards was robbed. I think that should be clear. And yeah, we'll go to this one. Shout out to Anthony Edwards on an amazing rookie season. Third youngest player to score 40 plus points. Broke Timberwolves rookie scoring record. And he is the first teenager to score 100 or more points over a three game span. And again, nine, the same stats we just read. But my favorites here, Anthony Edwards last 51 games played versus LaMelo's total 51. So Edwards got off to a very, very rookie bad start. It was just not good. He was shooting poorly. Things were just not going his way. So, we're going to look at the last 51 versus LaMelo's total 51, which I think is very fair. You know, if Charlotte fans say, hey, it's a full season award, well, then just tell them, yes, but, I mean, it's a full season award, but your guy didn't even play the full season. He played 51 of 72 games, so just not great, obviously, and you got to do better than that. So, we're going to look at just his... Again, their final 51 games. And I'll pull that up on the screen for those on YouTube here. And yeah, Edwards averaged 21.7 points, 5.3 re rebounds, 3.4 assists in 51 games. LaMelo, 15.7, 6.1, 5.9 in 51 games. But Edwards also was the legit number one or two on his team for shooting, like most of those games. He was the guy. Towns or D'Lo were out for a good chunk of them. And when they came back, Town or Edwards was still like the number two behind Cat or D'Lo, depending on who was playing that game. And Edwards shot, I think it was 18 shots a game or more. Well, it, I just know that LaMelo shot five less and Ant's shooting percentages were like 1% lower than LaMelo's, despite in way bigger efficiency rate. And Ant, he was just the guy for the Wolves. He was legit the superstar, the star on this team, and he will be for years to come. So I do believe... Over a full season of... And also, just to get to this point, LaMelo played 51 of 72 games. And he still won the award. I don't think you should be able to win the award, you know, if you play 51 of 72 and it's like a neck-and-neck -neck race. That should really eliminate you. He played 70% of the games and Edwards literally played every single game. So, I think that's a bit unfair. If you're going full season award, then it's a full season award. It's not a 51 out of 72 games. That's bullshit. Maybe a, just a salty Timberwolves fan here. Maybe that's what it's coming off as. But no, I come on. 70% 70, 70 of the games? That doesn't make much sense to me. I think Edwards clearly deserved to win the award. I think he had the star highlights, the star plays. He is the star. I don't care. Statistically, LaMelo had more assists and rebounds and steals and shit. But Edwards was just the better player. He was more efficient. He was, Well, not more efficient. He was used more efficiently, more often. He was legit a star on his team. You say like, well, LaMelo was on a more winning team. He had more winning players around him. Okay, like, what do you, what do you, like, sure, he had more winning players around him. Ant had nobody. He had Carl out and he had D'Lo out for a large chunk. He was playing with like Jake Lehman and shit. What do you want him to do? It doesn't make sense. LaMelo had the better team. That's why he won more games. Ant next year and the Wolves are going to be better than the Hornets. I think they'll win more games. I think they'll be a playoff team if everyone stays moderately healthy. You know, not like LaMelo playing 51 of 70 games. So, again, Edwards robbed. I think 
the highlights that he made, this just huge dunks, were just better than the LaMelo passes down the court. So, I'm all in on that. But, should we move on? Here. Ooh, they were lucky that wasn't turned over. Anthony Edwards! That time, he does finish! With the exclamation point! Wadabi got his feelings hurt on this one. I mean, that is absolutely filthy. There have been very few in-game dunks that have looked like that. Put that on a poster.